Welcome back to the Spinning Planet video tutorials. An important aspect of any website is getting to information quickly and easily. This is where site navigation or site links comes in handy. And in this tutorial we're going to show you how to add or edit your site links. So first of all we'll jump into the admin area and the two buttons we're looking at today are these ones here, create new site link and edit site links. So first of all we'll create a new link. Okay, so a link needs to have an, a link name and we're not really concerned with having a link parent because that's uh, to do with sublinks. So we don't want to do that today, we're just going to look at this one here. So link name, uh, we're going to call it our products page. And now we need a link URL and so we need to find that. The best way I've found is to open have open a new window or a new tab and so over in a new tab here here's my list of pages that I've created and it's the products page, page 8 so I go to the products page, yes that's it and I don't have a link in my navigation already so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select and copy the URL. Now this is the URL at the top, I only need to select that much there, the bit after the forward slash, because this is an internal site and it'll uh, internal page, I'm not leaving my site, so I'm going to go Control C, I'm copying page.php question mark 8, which is page 8. Okay, so now I can close that page, go back to here, and I click in here, and I'm going to go Control V to paste. So I've pasted in there my URL. I can give it a description, um, uh, fancy products, and I don't want to do a link button because that may upset the design and layout of my page. I want it to open in the same window. Uh, normally for internal pages you would open in the same window. Uh, if you're going off to someone else's website, you may want to open in a new window so that your website stays there. And I want everyone to be able to view this link and get to my products page. So I click create link. You'll notice here that it says the link is saved to the database. And so there it is. So now I'm in the, the still in the links area. I can see all my links here. And there's my products page. Now you might want to edit some of your pages. See for instance we've got the contact us is in position 1 and we've got home down here in position 2. You want to try and keep to normal web standards when laying out your site navigation because it's what people are used to and they'll find it easier to navigate your site if for instance the home is at the top and then under that you'd have something like about us so you notice I'm changing the order of them here you can also do this just by bumping them up or down with these arrows so if I change the order I want it one is home two about us uh, three is going to be products um, four is going to be contact us and then site stats that's um, only viewable to admin. I don't want the whole world seeing the statistics on my site so I'm going to make that right down the bottom and I click update. Remember if you've done any of these here you'll need to click update on that otherwise they won't stay there. So we click update successfully updated and if I leave the admin area we'll see those links all there and there's a new one I've created takes me to the products page. Now you notice that site stats is here. If I were to log out, site stats would, would not be there because I don't want the, the public viewing my site stats. So that's quite handy, means it only shows up for me. Uh, this one here is indented slightly because the articles page is a sublink of the home page. Um, so there's my articles page as well. So back into the admin area, just a quick recap. We can create new links here, 
and we can edit them here and let's say I'm in here I'm editing oh I think I'll create a new link let's just make this one a link to a I'm going to call it uh, how to's and I want it to link to a, another site that's not my own so I'm going to control T open a, a tab and I'm going to go to a, my favorite duct tape sort of site instructables.com and this time I'm it's I'm selecting the the whole URL because it's someone else's site that I need to go to control C to copy okay I'm out of there I go back into here and I go control V for paste um, neat how to site Oops. and I want this to open in a new window because I want my website to stay there and I click create link alright it's created my link and I might just want to bump that up a bit so this time I'll bump it up like this it's how to's so I'll move it up again it so about us products how to contact us right update that page there successfully updated you'll see now the how to's and this should open a new tab yes and go off to that site and our site has stayed open in the other tab so that's the quick overview of the site links and remember try and keep to the web standards home, about us, etc, 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 contact us, um, that's what people are used to and it will make navigating your site a whole lot easier. If you do get stuck on any of these or have any questions, uh, feel free to contact us at Spinning Planet. Thanks for watching, have a great day.